What's up everybody, Grim Green back here today. Welcome to moving day. Remaining vape stuff, uh, getting packed up, packed up. But what I decided I needed today was maybe something real simple, just something reliable, something like with a sub ohm tank and just a straightforward battery that I can just vape and vape and not have to worry about it. So today, the new Freemax Twister in the solid colors. It's loaded up with Milk Plus. I've actually been vaping this for a few weeks now, two weeks now, and I decided today, this, this is my moving bay vape. This is it. I mean, it's moving day, so. Oh, yeah, there there he goes. Look at Wanda going crazy. You're gonna have a new tank soon, Wanda. I mean, it's really your old tank, but. But it's it's in a new, new place. She won't know the difference. He won't know the difference. Doesn't matter. Our beta fish is gender neutral. So far, so good. Um, one of the things about the Twister that I've noticed, and I've kind of noticed this over the last few days when I'm like being really active and moving and driving in pockets and backpacks and mods and stuff, is I, do, I have to lock it every single time. And that's kind of never something I really think about. Just sitting at your desk, you kind of go, yeah, it's five on, five off, but really, you have to use it. I throw this in my pocket and I like squat down to pick up some boxes. Firing, firing in my pocket, so. It's crazy, five on five off. Kind of makes me wish it had like a three quicker, like a three on three off, just so the process was that much quicker. This coil head's been holding up awesome. Got Milk Plus in here, just vaping like a champion. This is set to 70, 60 watts. 60 watts, I can't even see. Yeah, it's definitely 60 watts. Oh. Moving so far has been terrible you know it's moving but i want to see is this garbage bag this garbage bag this entire garbage bag this huge garbage bag just hats just hats just snapbacks wow why well our house is basically empty and i've been vaping this freemax twister all day long coil head love love this coil head the downside of this particular device is the built-in battery i've been vaping it since about Let's call it 7.30 this morning, and it's right now about 12.30, noon 30 West Coast time, and the battery is, oh, you can't see it. It's red, it's red. Can you see it? Nope, it's red. The battery is red, which is a bummer, which means I'm gonna have to charge this now. Battery life, bro. Yeah, there's my desk on its side. That's it, sucks, saying goodbye. Bye, bye office, bye purple couch. I'll see you later. <laughs> That's it. Yeah. Oh, this is empty. You guys killed it. Crazy. God, oh, holy crap. I want to go to the magic castle so bad. Oh, magic castle. Someday. Someday. Yeah, let's have some more driving footage. Yeah, I can't believe, uh, I can't believe we got all packed up. I can't believe my apartment's empty right now. Those movers killed it. I will say I'm a little bit bummed about the battery life here on this Freemax Twister. It was 100% charged at about 7.30 this morning. Like I said, I used it for pretty heavily for about five solid hours. Okay, thank you, Pickle. Thank you for the text messages, Pickle. But I used it for like five solid hours today and now it's dead. I'd love to be able to vape it, but it's just dead. The battery's just dead and that is just the worst feeling because you can't put an 18650 in it. It's proprietary, so you have to charge it with a micro USB and I can't do that until I get to the house. So now I have to vape a pod and I don't want to vape a pod. And then as good as a pod as this is, I'd rather have the Freemax. I'd rather be blowing some dope ass clouds right now. Dope ass clouds. I haven't said that in a while. My, my desk is wrapped in saran wrap. My couch is wrapped in saran wrap. And now we play the waiting game. Oh. 
Well, good morning, everybody. We had uh, just a long, long day yesterday, packing and and moving and unpacking, and then like I'm like we got it. We set up the Wi-Fi. We, we you know we did the laundry. That we did our sheets, and it was and we just crashed out, just crashed out early last night, early last night. But this did charge. I charged it last night. Uh, I, I was using it all last night. It's been great. I had to fill it up with a different liquid because in the moving I lost my Milk Plus bottle so I had to fill it up with Lane Cove Alice because that's all we had because Casey Pickle is a responsible one and keeps track of her liquid bottles and me I'm just you know throwing stuff in boxes. I don't know where anything is. But it's been vaping just fantastic. It switched over flavors real real easily. These coil heads in here perform real well. They feel real nice, dense, saturated. The flavor, it's pretty stellar. Casey Pickle noticed a little bit of a flavor drop difference between like an RDA and this because she vapes exclusively Lane Cove Alice. It's the only liquid she vapes and she has vaped it for years. Just literally non-stop one liquid and as soon as she tasted it in this she's like tastes a little bit different, tastes a little bit muted. I said, well, there was some Milk Plus in there too. She's like, oh, maybe that could be it. So we kept vaping it, kept vaping all that Milk Plus out of there, and now it's just straight up Alice. There's a little bit of a difference, but that's kind of to be expected, the flavor difference between like an RDA and a sub -own tank. One thing I will say that was a little bit weird yesterday is the battery died, so I threw it on the charger, as you saw, and when it was done, when it was done charging, the whole kind of top portion of this from about the bottom of the tank to about halfway down the tube was warm. I mean, not even just warm, it was hot. Like borderline uncomfortably hot. It was just weird. It was just sitting there on the charger. I don't know if it was because the, the charger was maybe a higher amperage charger. It was just uh, real weird. It kind of made me just a hair uncomfortable. It wasn't hot enough to like where you'd touch it and like drop it like like painfully hot. It was uncomfortably hot for, for me and I don't know what that was. The silver battery that I was using a few weeks ago didn't do that. Just this blue one just kind of got real warm and like I said I don't know maybe it was the charger. I wasn't using the included charger. Use the included USB cable. I plugged this into a random micro USB that was plugged into like a random power brick and so just follow the directions on the device. Use the included charger. And there's another weird thing that happens on this that uh, I'm not gonna, uh, I should have all my camera stuff back in my office today. We should, this should be the last of like the weird wacky videos that I have to shoot. Freemax Twister has a little red mark right here and you just slide this back and you can fill it up and what they did is they included another hole right here for your air to come out which is just my favorite thing. It's super easy to fill. It's basically a joy to fill because it never clogs up. This slides back. This part is a little bit loose all around. Just a little bit loose and this particular tank that I have, do you see how the top kind of twists back and forth like this? It, it, it shouldn't be doing that IMO. It shouldn't be twisting. It even does it when it's open. You can kind of see it, I don't know, twisting back and forth. Overall, it just makes this top feel a little bit flimsy, a little bit weak. It's never affected like the vacuum on the inside. It's never caused it to flood or anything like that. It's just, I don't know, just a few fit and finish issues. You know what I mean? This isn't a super high-end device. It's a rather cheap little device and there's going to be a few little fit and finish issues with it. This isn't like the last thing you're ever going to buy in your life, but if you need something to vape, it'll vape and it'll vape well and it'll vape consistently and it'll deliver. It'll really deliver for you. Oh, five mil. Okay, so the tank, the Fire Luke 2 mesh tank that's included in here is a five mil capacity, which is pretty nice. I had to fill it up, you know, a few times because it's a sub ohm tank and you kind of tear through juice. The battery capacity is a 2,800 ma or milliamp hour battery capacity, and it does adjust on the bottom in wattage mode. It goes in like basically five watt increments on the bottom. It's a lot like the old Vision Spinners or the Ego Twist or something like that. Real easy to adjust and clicky and it stays where it needs to stay. So now that this has been going on for far too long, let's play the Aliens game or first vape budget hands. You need your vape budget hands? Not really, it's about 44, 45 
box and you get the battery and a tank and two coil heads on the inside if we're gonna play the Aliens game. I think we know the answer to this. I'm probably just gonna pass on the Freemax Twister. It's fine, it vapes fine. It's not really something for me. I don't love these like tube, regulated tube with the button with the tank. It, it works for a lot, a lot, lot, lot of people. Lot, lot, lot of people. It's a nice little soft introduction into vaping, into like, Clouds Bro, Clouds, flavorful, low nicotine vaping. And it's a rad little kit, but really, I, I can kind of take or leave the Freemax Twister. It's been a rad vape, but I'm sure as soon as I kind of break this down and put the battery away, I won't even remember the Freemax Twister. I'll never be sitting in my office going, damn it! Why did I ever put away that Freemax Twister kit? But that's what I got for today, everybody. Thank you so much for bearing with me during the weird moving times. Hope you guys have been enjoying the videos. We're gonna be getting back to normal as soon as humanly possible. Anyway, what did I already say? Thank you guys so much for watching. No links allowed, so you're gonna have to use your Google Foo. No matter what's in your hand, you guys, as always, let's keep on vaping.